with this Lux, who's very fairly fragile as well. Okay, Impressive. fighting over level two, the flash forward as Kerry is going for it with the Q of his own. That's going to be a trade. His first blood is given over to the Ezreal Gumi Yusi. They don't know where he is, and he might get caught off guard here as uh -oh. he goes to ward. <laughs> well, that's not the brush you wanted to check here, as uh, Baker's just going to die. No flash for Karia. No mid prio. Yeah, they already have this pretty low as we stand, and they're going up against an Orn. Let's see if T1 can do anything as the uh, Ornhorn will come through as a big knockup now from Dorn on the top side, but you can see the rest of Gen T. This is going to leave Dorn to die. They say, nope, we're not going to be able to help you here. That T1 decided to make, you know, yep. as instead they are going to try to highlight this top side as here comes the paranoia. It's three on one, and Dorn does not have any hope as Baker will eat a lot of those turret shots, as will Owner. He's in some route. It's so hard for the Owner as well to actually find the second activation on the ultimate. And Peanut, he gets uh, the play. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's really Hexic Ultimatum is available now, and yeah. Peanut, yeah, you're not going to be able to ult out of this one. Don't believe that Karma will help either against this much lockdown. We just saw these three in the top uh, side. It's more about what happens as soon as these turrets start to fall. When the map starts to open up, that's where I get more worried. Oh, okay. who's diving who now? As Zeus went a bit far, thinking he had owner on the back up of the gank as Flash comes in and Toby will Peanut be. leading the charge on this. And Faker just now teleporting. Note the flank coming in from the side of T1. They've got yes. a Camille and a Rise behind him. And has to be so careful, they're grouping up to check. Okay, they see Zeus and they're looking for the turn to flash in onto Faker and he will be rooted down and taken down as well. But T1 say, that's okay, we'll take the Drake. Zeus though, also gonna be taken down here. So Gen G, take him. The one thing for T1 that, that is important to still keep in mind is that this comp punishes uh -oh, over extension. Here we go, this is the side lane play that we expect and stopwatch is good, but it ain't that good. That's good. T1 will actually spill into the other side. Now they've got to be wary of the Zayas flank once again. All right, setting up uh, another kind of wall here. We got traps coming out from Gumiusi and you do not want to get headshot by this Caitlyn right now. As Zeus over the wall, they're looking for Toby. He doesn't have his stopwatch anymore, but the damage from the backside of Gen T is gigantic. They're able to take down both of the divers on the side of T1, but that is going to be the dragon going the way of T1. So a crazy fight, but T1 get another infernal. Here we go. <laughs> is, are they going to contest? I think they have to. Are they just going to realm orb into this one? I don't know. We've seen that for two as, okay, they're going to go on the backside here. They want to take a fight as immediately a headshot from Guma. That's going to be one kill. Gen T gets a Baron, but they get nothing else as T1 are on the chase. Baker leading the charge. He's going to get that bounce onto both of them, and at least Toby will go down as they are looking for more. A triple kill now for Guma, and that is going to be the ace into the hands of T1. If the fight is going their way, he can do something. Look at the trap placement and even the, the E coming out from Carrier. They're like, you're not coming in here. You're not contesting Vision. You are not going to have Quayo. They denied any sort of idea. That is they a incredibly, running. incredibly fast bear. I don't know what that guy's on, but Zeus is not getting away as, okay, he's trading back actually. <laughs> Trying to get the kill on the hands and the flash, but not quite enough. And T1 start the Drake he's fast to sprint now. over here. Mm. That's teleports available. Two of them, but Okay. Coming down. Good they are going Baker for this. Joining. I don't think they can get here. Yeah, they're not going to get here on time, but Peanut. Peanut's here on time. Peanut, can he steal it? No, he cannot, but he does have a stopwatch trying to turn this one around. Area takes so much of the aggro here. The Chaos Storm, the Ornhorn, and he's still alive. There's the one Guardian Angel going down. And Guma, he's still alive. Look at how much damage he does at this point in time. The chunking is unbelievable. That's going to be the end of Ruler and the end of Gen G on this fight. Plays this game. You give them an inch, they will take a mile. They were so far behind in the early part of the mid-game, but they turned this one around so fast. Unbelievable. T1 just like that. Doesn't matter what the game state is, as they used to say, hey, here's a kill. But we will get the kill on Fear Nexus and take game number one here. Not get TS, and uh, both options are not great, as we might have a bot side play here. How does he keep hitting these? As now, we are going to have the Realm Warp coming in. That's going to be one dead Genji member, as down will go Ruler. No more follow-up from Baker as Lahens will at least be able to walk away.
and I didn't think it was going to hit. Clearly, Ruler didn't because he had flash. Funny walks out of range because they see that play. Is that oh, the Shuriken? Yeah, that's the entry here for Doran. He's got R2. He's looking for it potentially, but he does not dive. As he says, here, Toby, you take it. You've got enough. It was damage. really close, actually, as Toby's just barely able to take him out. As, oh no, Lehens. Oh, no flash, no ability to get out of this one. You see, Carrie is just trying to give over the kill now to Gumi Yusi, who just exactly. hard carried the last game as well. And you thought the duo of Gumi Yusi and Carrie was strong. I mean, Owner and Carrie is also incredibly strong, those two. As Zeus is pretty far up the lane, that's going to be the flash in here from Peanut. Hex Drinker not going to be enough. Minimal with this Rift Herald. As Chovy's going to get a charm, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Lehens, man. Yeah, uh, Lehens is in no man's land right now. I mean, he was able to spot owner, I suppose, but now probably going to have to use that oh. unbreakable will. He is surviving for an incredibly long amount of time, but I don't know how much CC this cow can survive through. So He's down sold. he will. But post six, you have your ultimate. That should be enough. But it's not if you're that far into oh, the jungle as Keria. Yeah, he's just looking for more. Not able to get that one, though. Trovi able to land the charm, and Keria will be taken out. Zeus now going 1v1 against Doran. That rocket not going to land, and Zeus will survive only. He's built here from Trovi this time around, because I think that with the horizon focus, which I think will be the next oh, one. Oh, one We got the Shroud out here. The Shuriken's going to land as he goes in for R2 and immediately gets shut down. Zeus going to put an end to that. Toby, even... who is pretty far down the lane oh, here as God. now. That's going to be the hook there on the Lehens as he gets trapped up once again. Who cares about your will? It is certainly breakable against T1. That's a big blade caller, but I don't think that's enough. A hook goes down onto Ruler as well. Does not have the ultimate to survive as Toby, alongside a peanut up on the top side, at least able to get the kill on the Faker. Now Doran goes in and trades one for one, but T1 also still. holding aggro uh -oh. on the Rift Herald. Oh, a little bit early there on the hook was Karia actually. It's now Doran oh. able to survive, and Doran will be able to pick up the kill. Zayu's looking for more, and he will get it, but that's a kill fed. A huge 800 bounty. To do the damage. Remember the last time Ruler got a big shutdown in the game they were behind? This game I do. Just off the rails. I mean, now Owner's the one getting caught over here. Doesn't look like he's got a way out as Charm will what land. able to do as well as what has hopefully going to be a many stack Magi. Looking oh. good as Lahens. Okay, we're engaging onto the Alistair. It's worked out before, but this time Lahens is getting some work down. Guma has to flash away. Genji now on the chase as Owner is going to use that stopwatch for nothing. Down he goes. And that's going to be Genji with the kill on the board. I mean, Lehen, sometimes he looks foolish with these plays, these extensions, but when it works out, it works out. And T1 super disjointed in this fight. Once again, Owner caught off on the side. The ult went oh, through. Look at Peanut. Okay, this is a big flank. Will it come out in time? Everything's being thrown in and Doris dies inside the shroud. It actually took the brunt of, I think, the peen from Lehen's in that last fight. Really did. As Lehen's flash traded for Guma's flash is amazing. I would like Genji to just get Saw points. I know it's not the most popular Saw, but it's a good option to play for nonetheless. They are not looking like they will. Yeah, sitting here and doing nothing is not going to be it. As Carrier just puts him in the dumpster, and now Ruler has to run away. But there's a, a Realm Warp right on top of him as a big blade caller does come in. But Doran's losing the fight as well. As now front to back, the Jinx, the Lucian, they can kite for days. They will only be able to get the one for now. Faker able to flash away from those very nicely and does this force the flash away from Ruler. It should be T1 being able to secure this Baron. They've got the choke point set up and they have enough damage to do this. And it's moments like these where you try to set a punish place, get punished yourself. And oh. they're going to try to steal this. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I don't know about this. Let's see what Peanut has in store for us here. No cooldowns. Okay, he's over the wall as Lahens gets in there and smites, and down will go Karius. Now the chase coming oh. in. There's the one. Doris gets one and immediately dies, but a couple of kills into the pockets of Gen Z at least. All right, now Karia, so you got to take some power away from the Baron push, says now. Not sure about this one. That's a really tanky rise at this point in time. Yeah. Area once again the target. Yeah, they're going on in, and look at the poke damage. Shovi just not here. Teleport now coming in to the jungle, trying to help out Karius. Now the hands nearly gets poked down, and actually it's a kill onto Zeus as Ruler somehow able to take them down, trying to put on that carry pants once again. All right, Faker's in this brush. They didn't know it. Oh boy, that's another hook there on the door. And Karia, though, Hold I up. see the one that has to take the brunt of this as he will get healed up and immediately go down. Love it. When they can kite back, but the prior isn't really there for them. They don't Kobe. have that much control. 
Okay. Okay. Unseen, he's so far away though. T1 respecting him. They, oh, they just spots him, and there's the Cloud Soul given over to Ruler. As Lahens takes a ton of damage, but at the end of the day, Gen Z, they pick up a big objective. As now T1, a team of five looking for this, but there's the charm on the Faker. Where's the follow up damage? It's only Jovi, and Peanut's not able to get on in there. Uh, Doran is going to have to go back and is not, going in. I mean, this is so risky. so risky. This is crazy. As now the turn comes in and Curry immediately gets blown up and now over the wall goes Peanut. A huge kick into that back line. And that means that Doran's got some room to move as well. Ruler gets on in there. Zay's going to stand up to him. What am I watching? As he went a little bit too aggressive there on to Zay's, but. He will eventually be taken out, and Guma, the only one left here on the side of T1. More of a liability than, than anything else in this game because he's so squishy. Uh oh. Speaking of squishy. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, he's he's just Wait. fine. Wait. As a fight in the top side, as okay, Diana against Akali. The Moonfall comes in, as that will be the execution. Akali does too much, and now look at this. Baker's like, no, no, no. See you later. I want no part of that fight. Karia is trying to set something up here now for Guma, but he is incredibly far away. Is the rocket enough? Yes, it they is. Take like this before Elder. Oh, they're gonna keep going. They're not done yet. They spot Karia. Uh oh, that's uh, Nautilus out of water. He doesn't know where to go, and uh, he's got a nice little hook. He's buying a lot of time, but at the end of the day, it is four v one. So Karia oh. is no taking. vision here. They spot Jovi and Lahens. Thorin doesn't FTP. Uh oh, this is a really nice engage though. Jovi looking for more. The charm not gonna land, and there is Lahens going in, trying to get the pick. Jovi desperate to get somebody, but a massive rocket in the face of the rest of the Gen Z members, and Jovi is left alone. Guma is looking for even more, but they didn't even get Jovi just yet. Doran coming on over here, and nobody dies. No health bars low enough for Doran to actually get executes here. Can he get Guma? Oh, he's looking for Guma. He might be looking for both. He gets the one, and that will be the two. Doran able to take him down. Please, both. someone, stop, you know, stop pulling me in both directions here. I'd like to go to someone. This carrier has to I'd blast like to away. know what I'm up to. Yeah. No Morph is up for Faker. Okay, here's the follow-up engage. Carrier in a lot of trouble. Down he does go, but it is time bought as the Baron will be stopped, and Karia's sacrifice is not for nothing, but they will restart this here. You just see how reliant T1 are on Gumiusi's damage. They cannot win the fight with just the Diana and Arise alone. Owner's ult's coming back up, but you don't have the damage. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to get through this cow right now, as there's just too much CC. The Jinx rocket actually hits there, I think. Doran's here. Yeah, down will go Lahans, and Doran says, okay, our fair share of Elder Flips in the LCK and in Challengers, as that is the combo into Doran, but the damage not quite there to take him out just yet. Davis is gonna get taken down. In goes Owner, gets a big engage this time, as over the wall goes Faker, directly into this lethality. Zaya, everybody's desperate to kill him, and Ruler will survive. A double kill now for Toby and Genji have wiped the slate clean. And eight deaths for him, so many deaths for everybody on this rift, but Genji, they will best T1 in this second game and make it a tie series one to one. We'll get the clone oh. out early, force out those corrupting pots. So this is an early pass. Yeah. The cheese. This is one way to deal with this matchup. You know, Zay is just trying to put on the pressure. Peanuts here at level two. I mean, the hook shot taken first, too. So now Zeus just trying to survive. The red buff comes in. The slow is there. And one more auto could do it, but they don't get it. And the follow up auto nearly takes out Doran. Really patient. Now Peanut will be able to at least get some of that jungle back. His owner's not done. Oh boy. This is rough. He's going to land that stun right down the middle. He's still got a flash. Doran is going to land the stun there, but with the flash, owner Should does. Because owner has been paying so much attention to top side. Yeah, and you know, the advantages that T1 have here on top side of the map and how much farm Doran has lost is significant now. But as long as Doran plays it safe, he still will be Camille later on in this game. Like, he still will be relevant. The question is, will he be able to fight on a Rift Trail? There's Chovy. Oh, Chovy's going in for it. The double distortion. He's trying to get on top of Faker. There it is. The flash forward nearly catches him. But Faker don't even have to the force it just yet. Yeah, can actually. I just let Zeus take all the plays by himself as we take a look at another lane where Genji are winning. This is not even so far. Chovy been, has been getting the better of every single solo trade here. As Doran, oh boy, 
Maybe not this time, as he will go in. And now he's got Peanut, and the kick nearly saves his life. But Owner is trying to get on in there with the hook shot. Not able to Trading get away. Still 900 gold ahead in this game. And the lead now is, oh, hold that thought. Yeah, Chovy might be forced to get out of this one. Faker, though, is leading him down the lane. He does have that, but the chain stun will be enough to make sure that Chovy does not get away. But here we go. Rocket is coming in. Can it land onto him? No, Chovy will be able to dodge. Slight advantage they had mid, the slight advantage they had bottom, they no longer have. Chovy. Yeah, he's forced even, away. And look at this, the save on the Rift Herald, what we were talking about. You know, Zeus is left to just dominate that lane alone as there's going to be the charm in onto Peanut and the huge rocket hits both of them and Peanut just barely going to survive. With vision control. And that has been something they cannot remove. Is Zeus? Okay, well. <laughs> fading him in. Yeah, didn't see him there, but Chovy is around. You can see, though, that Chovy does not necessarily want to get in on this one. Knows the potential of the stolen Camille. At 14 minutes, Ruler is trying to farm. He's at risk. Okay, he is on the run here. He does have everything, basically, but they force out that ultimate as over the wall goes Zoner. He's just going super deep. There's nobody, no there's nobody here to help out Ruler. <laughs> Not bad, actually. Oh. Chovy's over the wall now. He's getting some damage in. That's a nice little poke as the charm. It's going to land here from Faker, but you can see that T1, they're not necessarily comfortable to take the fight right now. As in goes Doran, onto Zeus, they take out the Jace. Wait. And G, they found the angle. A lot used for not much, but at the end of the day, it's still, he's just farming there under the turret. Yes, can check this. Oh. Okay, he's gonna see Peanut, but they don't know about Chovy. Faker takes a big blast, as now Chovy has to flash away. The Black Charm! And Faker will pick up a kill for his team, Zayus. After a, fail, a failed flip from the side of Gen G, and now we can see the real power of T1 as the engage from Caria onto a Lee Sin with the Tompkins. That's another charm. That's going to be the end of that. As Lehens, he might get away. Maybe he is going to get on top of Ruler here as we diving into Azaya. And now they will force down this turret. No TP will come in for Doran. They're working out way too well. Yeah, Gen G, they have Soul Point in a dream, but they're so far behind that there's no way that they okay. should be able to contest this. We've seen almost all the Barons fail as there's the charm onto Ruler. He catches the Zaya, and now Ruler can't do much of anything. In comes Toby trying to get a kill, not able to, as the block here from Owner onto the chains will be enough. Chasing. So low are all the health bars. Yeah, not quite going to be confident enough to get onto there. And they have the Baron back, so T1 will finally get away with the Baron. He thing here, 50 seconds. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> and so with very little vision, now with the control ward over the wall, though, T1 maybe thinking better of it, but there's the Q coming in. Now the GP coming in as well, and that's going to be the steal. Peanut picks it up. And at least they'll be able to get that. But T1, they're looking for the end of the game as they'll actually be able to stop that TP. And Gen G, they keep this game alive. He's going to find a pocket of no vision here. Potentially get a pick on the Faker. Uh -oh. oh, man. But I don't know if he sees Faker either. There's no pings on this. Now he sees him. And now that Ari immediately goes into the Zanyas as Faker now looking for the potential play. Toby behind enemy lines. Has he gone too far is the question. As Faker is on the chase here, Owner waits for him on the backside. As Chovy's actually the bottom one, they flash after the clone. That's a turret. And Chovy's getting away. He will get away from them. Unbelievable. I can't believe he gets away. They get a turret as well out of this. He has Baron Recall. He's out. He's fine. Oh, my God. Chovy with a sick play here. He fail. And the poke is coming in as well from the side of Ruler. Who is going to be the main poke alongside of Lahenz, I suppose. Chovy's still looking for his angle to poke. T1 have pulled this into the brush. And Chovy still out of vision here, going to be looking for the assassination on the backside. That's going to be the take by Peanut. Genji get the Ocean Soul. This game is not over by any means. I don't have control over this Baron pit yeah. right now. Lahenz is pumping out heals. I mean, I'm talking like. This is insane. The poke right now from Gen G is better. And they have Ocean Soul. And now they engage on the Karia. Now he goes down. And all of a sudden, Gen G are taking control of the game. Tank Sickle to meet him. They're going to start this Baron. They have the heals. They have the resistances. They have the sustain. And they have a Fed LeBlanc. 
with a Fed Yumi apparently at this point in the game. They're looking to turn actually. Jovi takes two of them out. There's a 3v2 fight on the top side that T1 are getting close on, but it's not quite enough. Gumi Yusi though, he's looking to angle over. He might be able to get some damage in. Ruler is in a bit of trouble, has to flash away. The Zap gets him on the backside. Gumi Yusi gets excited and he's going to be the one that carries the fight in the end. That should be enough for T1 that they will clean up the fight just like that. Such a close third game here to put T1 on match point. Yep, they're gonna go for it here. The Nexus will go down. Chobi can't quite do enough as even with the Yumi coming out, it does not matter. And Kuma Yusi in the last fight. The kill with uh, Yumi attached to him. Gonna be kind Ooh. of the story. Okay, Doran is actually taking a lot of damage. The flash comes in and owner's right there. He's up on the top side as Chovy has not been able to roam on up there and now Faker's making his way, will be spotted. Gonna ult first, trying yeah. to get some damage through, but... Well. <laughs> oh, that was a really nice stun in the middle of the hook sling as now that is just going to be a dead Oxon as the last auto comes in. Okay. That's fine, but then pick a pick that actually facilitates that. Because now you have an action that's monstrously oh. far behind this OP nut. That is a fast thresh, and he will flash to get out of this one, but the rest is still coming, and the death sentence will. I'm not going to translate <laughs> that part. <laughs> Why not? Uh, and then Ina is just in the enemy jungle. He's going to be under threat Wait. against this Ari, who's going to be much more difficult to deal with with a thresh. Uh oh. Jovi's in a lot of trouble here. He has heal and teleport. That's them picking this this fresh has nothing to do with punishing and lane. Okay, he's trying to get on top of Jovi here. He does have his flash, but it's not going to matter. As now Peanut's trying to make a play, but again, you're so far behind, you can't do much. He will survive for a very long time, actually. As down in the bottom side, Guma's all alone. That's going to be a kill into the hands of Ruler. As Peanut, he will eventually go down. That is another kill into the hands of Owner. As now over the wall, Doran is here, but is he really? As he's just trying to get away now from Karia, who nearly pulls out the 400 IQ hook. And they were considering pushing into that second Rift Herald. The answer actually is going to be no at the end of the day. Here comes Predator again, as Peanut just kind of stands there and as well. Pikachu. <laughs> it's the Submarine 2022 version. Absolutely. Go get, go get him, Doran. Okay, uh, hmm. Is that a uh, double? What do you, what do you he guys- He didn't get him! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get him, Veldas! Yeah, yeah. He didn't get him! That Jay is with the double kill. There you go, four and zero, nine stacks on it, and he's gonna just die. As Jovi will pick up the kill. This is where it starts. You pick up the bounty, you get the, the, soul, the soul points. <laughs> uh, help me out All here, right, guys. Um, <clears throat> this flash available ults coming up. And they do not see him. Oh no! They do not see him. Oh, they are okay. He's not gonna. He doesn't have do it yet. It, he doesn't have it yet. He's almost waiting. Up. As that is some nice poke. The hook onto Toby, but he's tanky. As now it comes in, but the immediate exhaust as Ruler is kiting back. They are still alive, but that's gonna be the dragon going the way of Baker. As they are super low, but it's not really going to matter all too much. Everybody on the side of T1, and they have pulled off some crazier things. And T1, they looked a little bit flimsy in that game too, and that game three. So who knows? Let's see what they got. Toby's just going to go for a face check here as Jinx says bye bye with the rocket coming in. And now Ruler, he's going to stand up to the thresh, but he's basically all alone. And the feathers will not be enough as they will get on top of Ruler and Doran with all that mobility. Might just barely be able to get alive, but Baker says no, and that will be the end, the ace, going the way of T1. So early on in this game, 11,000 gold the lead now for T1 as they look to potentially close this one out. That's now Peanut, a huge play on Taguma. He finally is able to get something done in this one, but that's only a one for one. You see T1, they're gonna say, okay, we'll take our foot off the gas pedal for now. Aggressive as opposed to Gen.G having a real angle, and that's a really big difference with many of the previous games. Speaking of angles, Zeus is on scene. Ruler does have the cleanse, so at least he's able to get away from that one. Here comes Sorelia's as the rocket's coming in, and there's the flash charm. Faker wants to end this game before the Baron. He wants to go home with yet another trophy in his pocket, and he might just be able to do it right now, 27 minutes into this game. Peanut will be pushed away. As a wave. There is a wave and they will look for it. The charm 
not quite going to land, but they know Zeus is even diving on top of the fountain. Will they be able to get Toby? The answer looks like no, as we still got the trumpets playing as they chase down the enemy jungler. This game looks like it might not end here, as we do have a wave coming in, but it's going to be difficult. Owner will be able to pick it up, and that is going to be the end of this. T1, are your spring 2022 victors here at Kintex once again for the 10th win of this organization.